cycling vlog entry, we'll say entry 700. I am climbing some forsaken hill. David's chain came off. I would have stopped, but if I stop, I won't be able to <laughs> resume again. So there's my view. We are somewhere in Mapleton or Springville, Utah on the track. Thank you for the sponsorship, Chad. Rocking the Garmin Phoenix 6X Pro Solar on my left. Harvey 166. Let's see what Polar says. 164. So the Polar is connected to another one I'll show you in a second. And then I have on my left ankle, uh, kind of a waste of skin real estate, the OnePlus watch. I'm going on day like 107. I haven't worn it for five days because it's so unpredictable. So on my right, my trusty Apple Watch 6 LTE in Pacific Blue. Love it. So that's the Polar Verity Sense. And that's pushing really accurate half second, if not just really fast heart rate data to the Polar Grid X. And then finally, right ankle. Ah, oh, my long passion with Fitbit. Yeah. When it comes to Fitbit, I just can't seem to quit their ecosystem. <laughs> David should be coming up on my rear tire any minute. David, you coming? Anyway, he thought it'd be great to do this incline. My heart rate has not dropped below 160. This should be some good climbing stats. And this is what you call insult to injury. Caution, non-potable water, do not drink. And for the Paramount Kid, non potabile l'acqua, non bere. And I was ignorant <laughs> and it was not blissful. I did not bring my water bottle or my camel bag. So I'll be stopping at Maverick Adventures first stop. And no, they're not a sponsor. But the view here is really good. They have tents and nice campsites. That is pretty good solar activity. Way to go, Garmin. Just in the cool down, heart rate, 136 via Garmin, 132 polar, or rather polar verity. Whoa, don't wreck Pete. And Apple Watch, 128, 127. 26. All spot on. And I can even check my solar activity. Let me stop for a second. Now I can do it. Solar activity is good. Let's check the graph. The graph is good. Yeah, since both the Garmin and Polar have the AOD screen, uh, Fossil has that. And Apple has AOD, but it's not the same. Anyway, you can just see, even from the widescreen view, how easy it is to see that at a glance. So this is my bike cyclometer, so I can view it without tilting my wrist. And then Garmin, that has AOD, and that gives me my stats at a quick glance. Well, hope you enjoyed that intro. Thanks for clicking on by. Uh, my name is Pietro and this is Gadgets Anonymous. Today I rode with one, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> five gadgets, that was awkward. Anyway, it was a good ride. Track was really good. Rode with my friend David. You'll see him throughout the footage. Overall, I felt that Garmin and Polar and Apple like were great. Again, the one thing I don't like about Garmin is sometimes it can be difficult to view the stats. Oh, and I forgot to pause it. Whoops. <laughs> That's going to throw off the GPS. But a uh, 15 mile ride, let's look at the stats and compare it all. And then I'll tell you which watch I recommend for cycling. There we go. I'll do a swoosh with my after cycling snack, Nature Valley granola with some Faye yogurt. Here we go, ready? Shh. Oh wait, there's one more gadget. This one I had on my handlebars. So this was my cyclometer. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six gadgets. No, no, no chest monitor. Let's take a look. I had mounted on my handlebars because then I can just quickly glance down and see my stats. It's really easy to read, just like the Garmin. Uh, I would say this one's even easier to read and it has a bigger screen, but this one syncs really well with the Polar Verity Sense, which I've had in a few videos. I really like it. So right now it's pushing all my heart rate data to the watch. Anyway, and it turns off the sensors right here. So Polar's pretty good about that. So this one's in kilometers because, well, uh, I like to pretend that I'm in the Tour de France <laughs> or in a race in Europe. So then we just do a long press, that ends, and there we go. So we have heart rate, total time, max heart rate 173, which is good because that's really my max. Oh, it had the load there, cardio load 161. Heart rate zones, energy used, carbs, protein, fat. So I will, I'm allowed some carbs. Uh, speed, 40 kilometer average, max 50, noise. Speed zones, max altitude. So I gained almost 1700 feet and my body will be feeling that. Uphill distance, so it has a lot of stats actually. Downhill distance, five kilometers and change. Uphill, four kilometers. Yeah, that was a heck of a climb. And then if I go back, you reach your activity goal. Ooh, that was a cool little vibration alert. My today's screen, 157 steps, 12,000. So I got a lot of steps because this was on the handlebar getting lots of vibration. Let's take a look at the Garmin. So that's the heart rate graph, which I always like seeing, has the nice color peaks. And if I go back, go back to the workout, which I stopped. Now one thing cool is you can customize these screens. You can't customize them as much on the Polar, and then it just automatically paused. So I have uh, all those. I add one heart rate, elevation, respira respiratory rate. Then you have the time of day, heart rate on top, distance, and these can all be customized. So I'll stop that. And then one thing I always like to do is recovery heart rate. Now Apple, you cannot customize the screens. So now we can go back to the activity. While you're working out, you have your average mile per hour, your heart rate, total time, elevation gain, and that's about it. My goal was seven miles and I made it 15 and change. Average speed, active calories, total calories, average heart rate, elevation gain, and humidity. And then if I go back to the home screen, yeah, I think I've met all my goals. Let's see what the stats are for steps. So steps, a lot less <laughs> than Polar. This one I wore on my right wrist the entire time. Interesting. Recovery heart rate, uh, it just takes a while. So then later today, I'll just check. So there's my resting heart rate, walking average, breathe, outdoor cycling. So it has that graph and then my recovery will show up soon. So I'll put that back on to track that. Next, oh, recovery heart rate almost done. On my left foot, I decided to give the OnePlus watch another chance. Huh, and it looks like it failed. I started a cycling workout, workout record. Huh, it looks like it crashed. <laughs> Well, that's kind of a wash. Steps, 2,000, calories, 619. Well, at least it tracked my heart rate, kind of. I was running around my ankle, not the best thing. Okay, 113, 85 flights, and 7,000 steps. This is around my right ankle. So, got some good stats. I don't know if it tracked my workout. This is connected to the iPhone 12 mini that I'm filming on. And then finally, this is the Polar Verity. I love this thing because it's so comfortable to wear and it's really accurate and it's just so tiny. Battery life is about 25 to 30 hours and you can wear it swimming. It's a great little device. Let me synchronize all these and I'll be right back. Recovery HR, 
five. Okay, heart rate 109. So we'll stop, save, and that should give me my recovery time. There we go, summary, tempo, aerobic 4.7, anaerobic 2.7, 58 hours. Yay, looks like I get a take tomorrow off. Distance, time, average speed, max speed, nice. Anaerobic, aerobic, load, ascent, almost a thousand feet, descent, about the same, because I took the same way home. And then we can go to training effect, which is nice. And then it just synchronized through Wi-Fi. And then there's that load, 218. Let's see how we did on steps. This one normally does not get a lot of steps while cycling. And it only counted five floors. So if we go to training, we should be able to see VO2 max, 42. That was from Sunday's run. Run outdoors with your heart rate twice. Okay, why can't I use cycling? That's kind of lame. Pulse OX, 94. That's a bummer that I climbed all that. And Fitbit counted 85 flights of stairs and Garmin counted nothing. Probably because this one was on my leg. Off to switch. So next time I ride, I'll put this one on my wrist and I'll put Garmin on my ankle just for fun and we'll see what the heart rate is. Let me run some numbers my fun little tablet. I do recommend this place. If you go to St. George, Utah, the Desert Rat, that's kind of fun. The Churro Company, they're in downtown Provo. And this is a cat I used to have their cyclometer and they sent me some stickers. But now I don't need their cyclometer because I have my Garmin and my Apple Watch. Today, really, this was my cyclometer. Man, that got so many more steps than any other device. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser.